Well, good morning everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here and welcome back to the channel. So how is the Toyota Tacoma bug and stone deflector doing? You know You know, I put this on a few weeks ago. I've had a lot of questions here and there about it, um, whether it actually works, whether it does anything. Let me tell you, the reason I put this bug and stone deflector on my Tacoma was to try to keep stones off of the windshield. You know, down here in South Texas, we have a stone chip problem. You can't go anywhere without seeing probably, I don't know, 90% of the vehicles with either a cracked windshield or a chipped windshield. So it's, uh, it's a pretty uh, severe case down here. So I put this on primarily for that reason. Now, let me tell you, the real reason to put one of these on or the intended purpose of it really is to keep bugs and stones and things off of your hood, right? Because if you look at it, the way it's set up, right? I mean, you would have a stone or a bug or whatever pop up here and it would go across your hood, right? It would either you know, hit somewhere in here or maybe bounce up and hit somewhere across your hood. And the idea, of course, is to have it hit this and deflect it away, right? So that it's not running into your hood, damaging your hood or, you know, putting chips in your hood or things like that. So let's take a look. We're obviously at the front of the hood here and at the deflector itself, you can see there are some bug guts on here here and there, um, even a couple down underneath here, which actually could be more of a problem because down here, if any bug or anything hits like there too, now you're gonna have them kind of stuck in between the uh, edge of this deflector and your hood itself. No protection here along the front, but I don't really see, eh, there's a little bit of bug stuff right there, but I don't really see too much. Eh, another one there, so. Obviously, it's not going to protect that part, right? I mean, anything that hits the front of your truck uh, is going to hit the front of your truck. But the idea for me, again, was to keep rocks and things off. And if anything bounced up, and it would be somewhere in this height, right? I mean, if it's coming off a vehicle behind you, it's got to come off the tire and then head up, right? So it's probably going to be somewhere at this level anyway. And the idea is for it to hit here and bounce off away from your expensive windshield. You know, these things are somewhere in the, I believe, $700 to $1,200 range to replace if it's coming out of your pocket. Now, while I'm speaking about that, you know, I've had other comments. People say, well, just turn it into your insurance. It's free. It should be covered. Well, first of all, let me tell you, it's, it's not free. Nothing is free, right? If you have that coverage, you're paying for it. Part of your policy is to cover windshields. I don't have that coverage because I didn't want that coverage. I figured that in paying for that every month, year, whatever it is, uh, hopefully uh, it would cost me less to replace a windshield, a windshield maybe once or twice than to pay that fee for my entire lifetime, right? So it's not free and it's not in every insurance policy. You have to have that as part of your policy and if you do, you are paying for it. The insurance company isn't losing money to replace your windshield, right? So, let's take a look at my windshield. I haven't washed the truck too recently. It's been a little while. Um, you can see here, we've got uh, a little bit of bug left over there, there, and then over on the other side. Oop. There's another one there, and then let's go over on the other side. Oh, here we actually have, I think that just kind of fell down from somewhere, I don't know. Um, another little spot right, let's see, right there. I'm not sure if that picks up on camera, but obviously there are some uh, impacts uh, from bugs on the windshield, right? So it's not keeping all the bugs off the windshield, nor would it. I mean, if a bug is flying around at this level, you know, they don't all fly at this level and impacts your windshield, then this isn't going to do anything, right? So let's take a look at the Jeep sitting outside because it does not have one of these deflectors. 
Let's take a look at its windshield and you can see, uh, hopefully, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up again, but there are a lot more bug impacts on this windshield than there are on my Tacoma. Let's take a look at the wife's here real quick. Although I'm not sure if she's actually been out since it was washed. Yeah, she hasn't been. So uh, hers is pretty clean. Uh, she does have four, five, six chips in her windshield that I've repaired. So far, fingers crossed. Oh, there is a little remnant up there. Uh, so far, uh, that little kit that I got to repair those chips in her windshield has done pretty well. We haven't had any other issues. So, would I recommend this thing? Well, you know, the way I look at it is like this. I mean, anything you can do to reduce um, impacts against your windshield is a good thing. You know, these things aren't horribly expensive. I, I believe it was under a hundred bucks, something like that. Um, again, compared to the price of a windshield. So if that keeps, you know, one or two or 10, whatever stones off of my windshield per year, per month, then it's certainly well worth it, right? I mean, even if you do have that free windshield coverage on your uh, car insurance, you still have to spend time screwing with it, right? And they're gonna come to your house, they're gonna, or maybe you have to go there, they're gonna rip your windshield off. Hopefully there are no issues with that. You have to wait for the adhesive to cure. I think that's usually, what, one or two days, something like that. Uh, just a whole process. I don't even wanna screw with that, right? And so far, for me, again, might just be luck, uh, might just be uh, the areas I've been driving in, I don't know. But so far, I haven't had any issues with stone since I put this on. I will say that on the Jeep sitting outside, my Jeep Gladiator, there is a chip in it now that I've repaired. Uh, and like I said, on my wife's, there are a few. On the Tundra, there were, uh, I think there are two. And on the previous Tacoma I had, uh, there was, uh, I think, two or three on that one as well. So, something is working in my favor. Either it's just uh, luck, good karma, uh, I don't know. But so far, since I've put this on, I haven't had any issues, and I think it's well worth it. Again, if you can avoid just one stone chip, you know, that's something, or a crack even, that, uh, that would justify having this as far as I'm concerned. Aesthetically, I think it looks pretty good. I like the way that it looks on the truck. Um, it's not for everybody. Some people do, some people don't. There are different styles. This is the, uh, it's not the lowest profile. There's a low profile that actually adheres directly to your hood. Um, I didn't go for that one because I didn't want to glue anything to my hood. You know, anything that I can keep from contacting the paint, uh, as far as glue or adhesive goes, is a good thing in my book. Anyway, I just wanted to get on, kind of give you guys a little bit of an update. I get questions periodically as to the effectiveness of it. For me, it's a thumbs up. Leave a comment, let me know if you have one of these, what you've experienced, if, uh, if you've noticed that it's helped you out or not. I'd be curious. Also, real quick, if you haven't before and you're interested, Check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.